person, I have experienced mental illnesses in my life and I have seen the effects of mental illnesses on people around me. And until recently, it's not something I really wanted to talk about primarily due to the way society treats mental illnesses and the stigma around it. Generally speaking, we as a society do like to sweep mental illnesses under the rug and pretend like they're not a real thing. But mental illnesses are very real, they're as real as anything and until we as a society start treating it as what it is and we start tackling it head on, they are here to stay. The only thing more exhausting to somebody who has a mental illness is pretending that they don't have a mental illness. Stats show that staggering 1 in 6 people every week around the world will experience a symptom of some kind of common mental illness. Common mental illnesses being anxiety, depression, phobias, OCD which is obsessive compulsive disorder and PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. Not as common but also very frightening is about 1 in 12 people around the world are victims of more extreme mental illnesses including but not limited to psychotic disorder, bipolar disorder and personality disorder. And in quite a lot of those cases of the more extreme mental illnesses, victims of these do tend to have some kind of violent nature or random bursts of violence. And these bursts of violence are all we see getting documented about or being pushed out there in the media. And this perpetuates the stigma and cycle into people thinking that somebody with a mental illness generally tends to be violent. But that could not be any more wrong. In actuality, most mental illnesses are non-violent and most victims or sufferers of mental illnesses tend to be victims of violence rather than the perpetuators of violence. The most tragic thing that does come out of mental illnesses is suicides and in the UK and Wales alone suicides are the leading cause of deaths for people ages 20 to 49 and from all these suicides a lot of them does boil down to people experiencing even the most common of mental illnesses being anxiety and depression. Now to clarify any misconception people might have about anxiety and depression as to where it could just be a passing feeling or to a point where it's categorized as a mental illness because those lines are kind of blurred. The feeling of anxiety is something you get when you are nervous. So you tend to feel this when you have a job interview, when you have a stage performance, when you have to go out and do something that is kind of out of your comfort zone. And the feeling of being upset or sad does kind of re like link into being depressed but it's not really. Now anxiety and depression can only be categorized as a mental illness when it starts to hinder your everyday life. Where it starts to hinder the way you interact with people and when it starts to hinder the way people interact with you then it can be categorized as a mental illness and at that point it's no longer a passive feeling. This is now an illness that needs to be treated as soon as possible and as quickly as possible. And there are treatments out there for people that have mental illnesses of all kinds, ranging from the most common to the most rare and extreme. The mind and body are a lot more linked than most people would like to admit, but there are tr physical treatments out there to help soothe the symptoms of mental illnesses, including pills and like regular exercise. In fact, I read somewhere that regular um, aerobics exercises would help people who experience the symptoms of bipolar disorder. It tends to basically smooth you out. But at the end of the day, you do need to go to a specialized doctor for a mental illness. You're not going to go to a dentist when you have a broken arm. Same thing with mental illnesses. You can go to as many youth groups as you want to. You can go to... You can talk to as many friends as you want to, you can go to wherever you want to go to, your happy place, as many times as you want, but until you fully tackle this mental illness head on by going to a qualified counsellor, a therapist, a psychiatrist, this is not going to leave you and you're just going to keep delaying or pushing back your symptoms. Also on this, I think it's important to note that a vast majority of the general population around the world do come from religious backgrounds. And speaking from my experience as a Christian and being brought up Christian, every time I came up to another fellow Christian about my problems or ask questions about mental illnesses or that, either they completely dismiss it or the only thing they tell you is pray about it. And that itself is not very effective, that's not a solution. If you are a Christian, it even says in the Bible, in the book of James chapter 2 verse 17, 
that faith without action is dead, it's void. You can pray as much as you want, but until you make that conscious decision to go out and get the treatment you need, nothing is going to get better for you. It's the same way if somebody has some kind of illness, you're still going to take them to the doctor after and before they've prayed for them. Like, now my advice to you guys or anybody experiencing some kind of mental illness, be it anxiety, depression, bipolar, PTSD, borderline personality disorder, antisocial personality disorder, any kind of mental illness, I beg you to go get the help you need. It doesn't make sense for you to stew in your house and have your illness eat at you away. It's not fair on you and it's not fair on the people around you. And please, when you do go to get this help, Depending on how extreme your case is, it's not going to be an easy road, be it small or big. Whatever progress you've made towards stability, be proud of it, embrace it and keep moving forward. You're allowed to cry, you're allowed to scream, but please do not give up on this journey. It will be one of the best decisions you ever make in your life. The human mind is the most powerful thing we possess as people. Every day we see new inventions, we see new innovations, we see people do the most phenomenal things and everything started as an idea. It came down to their mindset, the power of their mind. The more we take care of this mind we possess, the better it will be for us as a species. Now nothing damages a society more than ignorance. So in the description down below, I'm going to leave links to various websites where I've done my research and websites that do offer help to people who are looking for that help they need. There's a hotline if you are in the UK. Um, for my viewers in the US, I'll also leave that in because why not? Let your research go far and beyond this video. There are so many documents out there, so many documentaries, so many things you can read to open your mind, to fully access what you have and to fully help others around you. Anyway guys, that's it for today's Real Talk. Hope you've been informed. Hope I've opened your mind to something. Um, I'm gonna go on a little hiatus on my channel. I'm gonna go for a one month break because now starting next week I have exams and I'm gonna go over the span of a month so I'm not gonna shoot or release any video between this time but it's only gonna be a month and after that I'm gonna come back with the fire literally like my next video should actually burn. <laughs> But anyway, um, if you are a victim or if you were a victim of mental illness and you would like to share your story, please leave in the comments down below. I'm really interested in this and at some point in the future, I will share my story with you guys. But I couldn't do it in this video because today is about highlighting mental illnesses as a whole as it is Mental Health Awareness Week and it's not about me but more about the society, the way we treat it and making sure people are more woke to the consequences of mental illness and various ways to treat mental illness so yeah like i said that's it for this video like the video if you did subscribe if you haven't and share with somebody who needs it share with a friend share with a family who needs who needs this you know them i don't but please let the word get out um and until next time i'm gonna catch you guys laters